Hey, hello everyone on YouTube. Uh, welcome back to the Let's Build That App.com channel. I hope you're doing well. Just wanted to make a super quick video to announce a brand new course available on the website. Uh, this brand new course is called the Swift UI Core Data Money Tracker course with iPad support. Uh, currently, there is a discount of $35 on the course uh, for a sale price of $100. And the sale is going to last for the next two to three days. So make sure to check out the link down in the description below for full details on the course. Now, what exactly are we going to learn inside of this course, right? Well, for the entire application, we are going to support dark mode on the left. We have the good old light mode and also the iPad version of the application here. And basically, uh, we're storing a bunch of credit cards inside of Core Data. You'll see I have my Apple MasterCard here. If I swipe left, you see my business Visa card in the blue. If I swipe back to this card, uh, right below, I have all of the transactions associated with this Apple MasterCard. Uh, if I wanted to add another card, I can click on the top right button here. Here is a form created in Swift UI. Uh, we learned how to create all of these unique selectors inside of our form elements. Uh, month and year pretty much looks like that. We also look at the color picker like so. All right, down below, these transactions are added by yet another form inside of Swift UI. Instead of here, we can make use of the image picker like so. And let's say, uh, what do we want to do here? Transaction for uh, preview. So I'm going to hit the save up here, and you'll see this transaction appear right here uh, with a tag of office supplies. All right, so that's basically how the application works. And again, we're supporting dark mode. So everything that you saw uh, previously just now, uh, it also works for dark mode as well. Uh, add transaction does that. And there is a filter on the right side. Okay, so those are the two different versions of the application on the iPhone. Uh, whenever we are on the iPad, we have this version of the app, which looks a lot different compared to the iPhone, right? At uh, the very top here, we have a swipeable view. If I click on any of these credit cards here, uh, you'll see the transaction grid below. It'll change based on uh, whatever transactions I have for the card. So going back to my black MasterCard, uh, all of these transactions are right here. Uh, if I add a transaction, you'll see a very similar form to what we had before, but it's presented in a sheet format, uh, allowing us to dismiss on the right side there. And very similarly, uh, you can click on that to add a different card. Uh, if you wanted to delete a card, you can click on this and delete the purple card and that will disappear. And uh, you know, everything is working just perfectly from what I can tell. Uh, there's also this kind of option to uh, long press and delete. Uh, all these functions and features, I'll show you guys exactly how to build out in the entire course. Uh, currently, we are at 25 to 26 lessons, and I'll include maybe some bonus lessons later on, so make sure to grab the course right now uh, using the link below. All right, thanks for everything that you guys have supported uh, for the last five years. I'll see you guys in the next couple of videos. Bye-bye.